You are a young business owner who owns a small floral boutique in a big city. A city known to have dark recesses and a rich criminal underground. None of this concerns you, of course. At least it didn't. Not until he asked you out, anyway. Daisy, hey, I was beginning to think you'd never call. What am I doing? Oh, just finishing up at work, won't take long, I promise. Hey, hey, shh, shh, don't worry, Daisy, just a bit of machinery firing off. It's, it's an old factory, lots of angry ghosts in the cement. <laughs> A tour? I don't know if I can arrange that, Daisy. It's pretty dangerous on the floor. Hmm. Oh, you're real interested in machines, huh? Or maybe. Oh, and there was Edna in the factory trying to do the thing. We were to do the seven eights, seven oh nines, and you're bloody fine. Yeah, just give me five minutes, okay? Five minutes. <clears throat> so, anyway, I think we were in the middle of something. What was it? Falling madly in love with each other? No, you accepted my offer to go out. You have to deal with me. Now, at least until you get sick of me and start throwing verses at me. <laughs> All right, Daisy, I'll behave. You get dolled up for me, okay? Okay, I want to see that bright, beautiful smile when I get there. Hell, if you want to go out in sweatpants, I won't mind. The folks at the Blushing Siren might, but they won't give you shit if I'm around. And hey, it's not too expensive, okay? But I understand if you feel uncomfortable not letting me take care of the bill alone. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. Hmm? Oh, no, no, sweetheart, everything okay is here. You go get ready, and I'll be over within the hour. Okay? I know you live right above the shop, so I'll just meet you there. Yep, see you there then, Daisy. Try and think kind thoughts about me when you're getting ready, hmm? Okay, see you soon. Hey, that's enough. I've got a date to keep. I trust you boys can finish up with our dear John Doe here. Good. I'm in, I'm in a good mood, so just break his kneecaps or something. Yeah. Don't dump him in the ocean. Just... I don't have time for this. Don't kill him. Just send the message and go home to your goddamn families, all right? Sheesh. I'm out. See you tomorrow, boys. Hey, hey, I, wow, huh, oh, sorry, am I drooling, guess I must really be craving some good steak, hey, do vegetarians eat daisies, cause I might consider adopting the lifestyle if that's the case, <laughs> hey, see, I told you you'd be throwing verses. Oh, a light tap on my arm doesn't count. Well, I'll have you know I'm very sensitive. You do look gorgeous, though. It'd be an honor to shamelessly show you off at the siren. Daisy, you know, yeah. I am going to brag. 
Oh, come on. Take my arm and let's head out. Yep, here she is. My favourite place in the city. I know it seems loud on the outside, but I promise it'll be okay. Uh, hey, T.Y., uh, my usual table, please. And yes, this dazzling creature is with me. Thank you for noticing. Now quit eyeballing and get us in. It's freezing out here. What? I, I wasn't being mean to him. Oh, giving each other shit like that is... I don't know, it's not just a guy thing, but it sure feels like it. Yeah, here we are. Let me just take your coat and... Uh... Hmm? Ah, Brig. You zoomed over here when you saw me. It's good to see you too. I can't really gossip with you tonight, though. Yeah, I'm actually out on a date. Sacrilege, I know. Look, Daisy, don't listen to this one. She's a great waitress, but she's got a heart wickeder than the green lady that got the house dropped on her. Uh, my usual, thanks. Same for food. Daisy, you, you get what you want, yeah? Consider it thanks for keeping my ma from imploding. Good choice. Thanks. Brig, I promise we can talk about dirty gossip and boys next time. And yes, I did give Paul your number. What did he do? He blushed so damn hard he passed out. That's what. Now go on, before our house asks for your number. Daisy, how come you're looking at me like that? Well, my accent gets stronger when I'm pretending to be mad. Hey, Enzo Augusti never pretends to be mad, all right? Now come on, I want to hear more about you. Tell me what you're all about, Daisy. Huh, you know, I'd had you pegged as someone innocent, but... What? Yeah, I said pegged, why? Hey, <laughs> you hush, I'm not blushing. <laughs> hmm, how's your food? Good, good. I hate being the guy that has to go have words with the chef if the food is bad. Nah, honestly, I like this. What we're doing right now, just eating good food, talking, and enjoying the ambience. Reminds me of being in your shop, honestly. Nice and peaceful. Hey, um, Daisy, are you having fun with me? I could, that's good. Hmm, I don't seem happy. Shit, am I that easy to read, hmm? I am happy, Daisy, I just, I worry. I work a lot. It keeps me away for long periods of time, and I guess I'm just worried that if things progress and all. Daisy, don't do that. I know we like to tease, but don't hurt me like that. You can't sit there and tell me you don't mind. You want to give me a chance anyway? Wow. Uh, I mean, it's not the worst choice on the planet, I suppose. I have my redeeming qualities. Devastatingly handsome, suave, moderately literate. <laughs> you have a cute laugh, Daisy. Come on, I've got the bell squared up. You up for drinks or you want me to walk you home? Ah, it's only a few blocks. Besides, I wouldn't be in Augusti if I let you walk home unprotected. Yeah, I know. I'm cheesy and old-fashioned. Come on, can I hold your hand? 
Mm, thanks. S see you, Brig. I'll remind Paul to text you once he's out of the hospital. So, uh, I want to say thanks for giving me a shot. Does that mean I can take you out again sometime? Hey, you don't need to fix my tie, Daisy. I'm asking... Well, oh, okay. Message received, Daisy. <clears throat> don't, uh, don't pull on my tie like that, though, okay? No, I'm not mad about it. I just am discovering some new feelings at the moment. Confusing, frightening feelings that someone half my height yanking me into a kiss like that. Oh, fuck it. There. We're even now. And Daisy, you keep teasing me like that. And I find it real hard to keep being a gentleman, okay? Mm. Mm. Right, right, it's late. And as much as I'd love to push my luck, I think I ought to get you to bed. I promise we can have more ill time to make out soon, Daisy. I promise. I'll give you a ring in the morning and we'll go from there, yeah? Mm. Mm. Yeah, night, Daisy. <laughs>